The work from home genre came and went so fast, I wonder if anyone's even going to remember it. What's going on, Dungeon Dwellers? Welcome back to Dave's Dungeon. I am your host, as always, the one, the only, Dungeon Master Dave, bringing you another episode of Spooktober 2023. Pardon me if I sound a little different. I'm feeling not so good and a little on the weather. But I'm going to try to not make that your problem, but keep it mine. While I talk about today's movie, Host, from 2020. This is a, for lack of a better term, indie movie. Um, I hate to say it that way, but it's more like this is a... In the years of 2019 to 2022, we were all going through a little at-home phenomena. And because of that, productions were kind of hard to come across. Enter the at-home genre. Movies made by small production teams that could get quarantined together in a lockdown scenario. And productions that were basically made in one location by one group without any aid from any outside other things. So, this was directed by one Rob Savage with writers Gemma, G-E-M-M-A, Hurley, and Jed Shepard. And I spell out Gemma's name because there's another Gemma involved with this project. And that Gemma's actually called Gemma, J-E, yeah, J-E-M-M-A. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about her once we get into the body count and maybe in some of the gory details. But, as I said, this is a COVID production, or is that still a um, bad word? I don't know. We might get in trouble for saying that versus all the curse words we've already said a bunch of times. But, um, forgive me if I've said the word, but this is actually a production that was made during the middle of the pandemic. And made in, made in part because we weren't able to make movies at the time. Oh, God, my beard's all scattered. Sorry, I play. I don't play with it normally. I only do it when I see it in the camera. <sighs> this is a short one. This is actually sweet and to the point. So without further ado, and so this review isn't longer than the actual movie, let's actually jump off into the bloody, into the body count. It's not the bloody thing. It's the body count. Get it straight. I'm not feeling good. I'm sorry. We have... One context for this movie is almost forgotten because as of 2023, it's like we don't even remember what we were doing in 2020, much less 2022. You know, I, I, I 2022 was a year. We went through it. It happened. One understandable piece of tape over the camera for security purposes um if you don't know what that's for you didn't go through where what happened to you during the pandemic did you not ever have to be filmed one everyday life scene in the years 2019 to 2022 complete with having to log into an online meeting schedule and navigate who's logging the meeting and then all of this other yeah but this time we're going to do it for friend groups yeah like hey be at your home and on your computer at this time so we can all hang out <sighs> one your house is so dirty that your cleaning closet explodes because uh yeah that happened a bunch during those years one throwing rocks at an actual window to get the invite for the digital online space. Because, yeah, the 2020s were wild. It was a weird time. One, uh, Gemma enjoys annoying the piss out of everyone this entire time. Because, yeah... One, getting the entire gang together for a seance. An online seance. Because nothing can go wrong. Hold that thought. Remember, I love these. And nothing can go wrong. Let's see exactly how far down it's got to go before I go, Oh, no. 
one heart hiding a cough with a fart quote um because yeah it was that was a thing and it's a localized phenomenon because now it's like people are back to coughing on everybody and nobody cares One tense preparing dinner scene. Because, uh, yeah, Radina and that guy living together. I can imagine that was a, a, a thing in, in the 2019s and 2020s of, hey, we're stuck together. I hope you, I hope you like, uh, microwave fish. Her. One screensaver of yourself that ends up causing a lot of problems. Because I don't know exactly where it happened, but there are a few times you can see her blip through this thing. And it's like, oh no, Carolyn's in trouble. But you can't tell because of the damn screensaver. <laughs> <sighs> One group does not approve of Teddy's new girlfriend. Um, and it's sort of like this group has a crush on him. And I gotta say... Living in groups like this was hell during this time. I mean, you can't hide things. People could see exactly from the reaction on your face exactly what you're thinking. And as you watch, just just sort of pay attention to that. Um, I thought Unfriended was bad about the sort of micro expressions that everyone gives in a group of people who are supposed to be friends but uh, can't quite stand one another and want to see each other hurt. Yeah, well, this is this group's actually better. I can actually tell these are people who much more know each other, and you can kind of tell when when I go through the MVPs. There's a there's a weird note here that I want to make, um, because we'll talk about it there. We'll talk about it there. We'll talk about it in the MVPs. One, did everyone bring their possession object? Because uh, we're looking to create some attachments today. Um, one, please be respectful of the spirits looking directly, I mean, dead eye in Gemma's face like, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Please be respectful, Gemma. And Gemma's like, I cannot speak, because if I do, we both know what's going to happen. We know why you're looking me dead ass in the face. One drink after every time she says the words astral plane game. Which, honestly, I, I think this was a fine. This would have been fine. This part, spirits get in vibing. Spirits get trying to get the, the stress out. What they don't get is making up shit. One happy spookies picture from a group of people that actually seem genuine, genuinely nice and like they like one another. Save maybe Gemma and Haley. They, those two, I can clearly tell that they're best friends because they keep pissing each other off. That, those two are the real ones. One language, oh no, sorry, uh, one Salem the Mystic, first time running an online digital seance. Um, if you're going to do one of these, please do them with someone who's actually done them over the internet and not someone who just sort of knows what they're doing in a seance, okay? Because I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I think you could possibly get away with one of these online, okay? Might be. But there's dangers in a normal seance that we'll get to in the gory details that even online seances are going to explode in numerous ways. One language is not a thing on the astral plane. Drink. <laughs> One isochronic tones uh, to help with the energy. Yeah, I'm isochronic. I had that last week. Shit's, shit's lit. One, Teddy has to leave early because uh, his girlfriend can't be without the attention. And we get the such a fucking knob sack quote from Gemma.
one, we can all be possessed, quote, from Salem. But uh, that doesn't have to be a negative thing. But it is. But it is. Salem, it usually is. Possession is not something we want. We came here to hear noises. We didn't come here to become someone else. One, there's a light over on Radina's face. There's a knock. Oh, it's a delivery. Yeah, it's, it's one of the funniest jokes I've seen in a modern horror film. Don't you think she's a psychic? as a psychic, would know that, that the uh, delivery was going to be late and that she might want to postpone until she got that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I would have postponed my delivery because my psychic powers were telling me that I might I might have wanted to wait until I got that before starting a seance because knowing that I wanted to leave the seance is not something I'm going to be able to do once I start it. You see the, th the problem here, right? Okay, breaking of a circle is bad. And every time you do it, you piss off whatever's on the other side, supposedly. So when the person leading it, you get it. You get it. You get it. I'm going to trust you get it. One one Gemma decides this is boring. So uh, let's make some, let's make a story up. Because we were expressly warned not to do this. <sighs> one Jack was a really nice guy who was really lovely to me this one time when I busted my head open. Now I know you're lying, Gemma, because no one's ever been nice to you. Obviously, no one's never, ever, ever been nice to you. That's a lie. I could tell that was a lie from the moment you said it. One Salen gets disconnected at the most inopportune time, which for us ends up being the most inop the most opportune time. One, everyone gets up to pee in the middle of a seance because they don't know any better. And breaking the circle with Salen, one person getting up from the circle, that's one bad. Okay. Everyone just deciding to get up from the circle. I mean, why don't you just all take your hands off the planchette and throw it across the room while you're in the middle of a Ouija board session? Why not? Go for it. That Nothing bad can happen during that. No, no, no goodbye. Don't slide it down first. Don't, don't, hey, watch this before you do it. Or maybe do. That may be the trick shot. One, I'm sensing someone is mad at me from for something. Oh, Haley goes, skirt. Yeah, because maybe, Gemma, you should have taken this seriously. I hope there's not a consequence, consequence, consequence. One, if I die, I'm going to haunt you myself, girl. She is not going to be that much further behind you. You best calm down. If you die, she's going to die too. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Y'all going to end up in the same hell. One Caroline see, ends up seeing Jack hanging in the attic. Because I don't think that was her dad. Um, I don't know that her dad was dead. But it could have been. But it was gone so quick, I'm going to give it to Jack. Meanwhile, shit's going down at Haley's house to the point where she's seeing people in pictures in her house. Like, she's taking pictures around the house with her little camera item that she brought for this seance. And, yeah, she's seeing folks that no one else can see. When Emma's glass explodes and everyone is now starting to believe. I still believe. When Gemma finally tells the group that she made up Jack and uh, Salen tells us how we create a mask and what the problems with that are. 
Oh, look, here comes a consequence, 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 consequences of my actions coming oh, right now. One, if we're lucky. Well, what if we're not? Question. That, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Y'all aren't lucky. You, none of you are lucky in this. And Gemma was, was really testing out how, how much F-O-F-A, or no, it's F-A-F-O. I, how did I do that wrong? It's Fafo. It's not Fofa. How much Fafo y'all had? One, Gemma made an open invitation for mischief during an online seance. Oh no, it all went wrong. Yeah. But that's what we're here for. One closing of the ritual needs to be done by a licensed professional practitioner. Because it obviously didn't happen correctly. And because no one actually believed it and it didn't happen correctly. Yeah, y'all probably needed to seek professional help again. One going into the toilet with Radina. Because Radina is never going anywhere alone ever again. <laughs> Scene. Which I gotta say, is so realistic. I, 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 as a person, was like, I don't blame her. I... I'd be going to the toilet too, having my phone out. Like, sup guys, welcome, welcome to the new space. I hope you like the porcelain. <laughs> uh, one Radina can't find her boyfriend. Oh, there he is. <laughs> one gravity foo double tap. Yeah, cause, uh. You think you can go somewhere, and then all of a sudden, sure. One Caroline, Caroline decides to do a face plant on her desk. But you gotta be careful, or you won't catch it. She's okay, though. I think we'll find out a little bit later. When Emma sees a filter floating around her house, decides to try the old flower on the floor trick. Can't get it to work. Meanwhile, Caroline comes back with that head banger, head banger foo. Boom, 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 boom. One. Haley gets the floor dragger foo. Shkoo. Out of the room. She should be alright. I think I think the spirits and her just wanted to have a talk. One Emma ends up all alone underneath her covers. That is until Teddy comes back. And I gotta say, this is the worst. Teddy wasn't even there for the rituals, wasn't there for the isochronic tones, so if you want to blame them, you can't even blame them, because he wasn't there for them. He left right as they were happening, so it's like, well, <laughs> uh, poor, poor Teddy gets killed from proxyism. One, making a friend on the stairs at Teddy's house. Well, it wasn't really Teddy's house, but it was where Teddy was staying. I know. Don't come at me. One, Jenny gets the ragdoll pull swan dive treatment. Because uh, nowadays, if uh, you come up against a force that's just going to snatch you around until you're dead, it's just going to happen right next to a pool so we can throw you right in it. Just boosh. That way, you're safe, right? You were dead anyway. One music box foo that they queued up so brilliantly early and then played it out so brilliantly. I mean, the strategy works. Don't try to fix something that isn't broken. If it works, just use it. <laughs> One, this teddy's on fire. This teddy's on fire. 
One Emma gets the full tilt half gainer off the balcony foo, complete with through the table splat. When Gemma finally gets into Haley's place, only to get the critical hit single tap with a full wine bottle. One Gemma dances with the chair. Give her the chair, foo. One Haley isn't dead. Holy shit, red herring drag. And finally... Two best friends dying together because one of you can't be fucking serious. Foo. Dave says, four stars, skulls, whatever you want to call them. Horror points. Dave says, see this one. I know some of you have seen Unfriended. This is a better version done in 60 minutes. 57 to be precise, but seriously, see this film. And, and like I said, it has a whole backstory context in this for the uh, gory details. Because you can stay if you've already seen it. But if you haven't, you should probably do that before we talk about it. But anyways, I'm going to jump right off into them because they're not really that much of a spoiler context here. Other than to say this happened during COVID. Somebody made a movie during COVID and not many of these were made. And of course it would be a horror film. Something you can make with literally a shoestring. I think I have seen Shoestring, the killer shoestring. Um, but yeah, no, this was a COVID budget movie made on Shudder. Um, and everybody in this film is using their real name. That's the other thing I want to talk about. Haley is literally Haley Bishop. That's her real name. Gemma Moore is Gemma. Uh, MVPs go to Haley Bishop, Gemma Moore, Emma, Louise Webb. That's Emma. Uh, Radina Drandov. Radina. Carolyn Ward. Carolyn. Teddy Edward Leonard. Uh, that's Teddy. Uh, Salan, uh, uh, Salan Baxter, who as Salan. Um, James Swinton as the spirit. So again, everybody in this film is basically whoever they are. They're they're playing themselves. There is no like characterization going on here. These are people pretending. To have taken on as the, the Zoom meeting they shouldn't have taken on one Friday afternoon. Because they were bored and stuck in the house and didn't want to be alone. And I gotta say, it's it's tight. It's very clean. It's very believable and relatable. I, I don't think the characters are too, like, you're waiting on them to die. You want, you, you hate them and you're, you're rooting for the spirit here. But at the same time... You and I, if you have any kind of knowledge on spiritualism and seances and what kind of precautions you're supposed to take versus what, what these people did, don't do this. Just don't do this. Don't do seances over the internet, first off. Let's, let's, let's start there. Don't do it unless you know what you're doing. Secondly... You shouldn't do a normal seance with a bunch of people who you know can't be serious. Okay? If you think, well, we got to do this exactly right, or we're all going to get possessed, killed, murdered, or, or, you know, ripped apart and tortured by spirits, maybe don't bring the friend who's always telling the jokes and really doesn't care and doesn't take anything serious. Maybe maybe leave that friend at home and go, you're not invited. <laughs> because I think if everyone else had just played along and everything had gone fine and this was just a normal girl's night, you wouldn't have had the problem. But because Gemma decided, gonna be spicy, gonna actually be spicy, all hell had to break loose and an entire friend group had to be put through the horror blender. But, we gotta say, hats off to you, Gemma. Without your shenanigans, we wouldn't have a movie. But, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, it's, it's only an hour long, so please, 
give it a watch. It's really easy to find. AMC has it. Um, so does Shutter. So does uh, Amazon. Amazon had a copy of it. So please, you can check it out a few different places. But that's going to do it for this movie review. Our next one is Tourist Trap. An oldie, but a good one. I got to say, this one mwah, is just right. So, thank you guys for joining me on these adventures, and I hope to see you in our next dungeons. But until then, don't go playing the uh, spookies on the internet. Don't you do it. Don't you do it.